Welcome to another GeoGebra tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to investigate the graph of f of x equals a times x minus h quantity squared plus k. As we can see, this is a quadratic function and what we are going to do today is to explore the effects of a, h, and k when we uh, change the value of uh, values of these, uh, of these uh, variables what happens to the to the graph or what are the relationships of these three variables okay so first we type to input a value for a we type a equals one so you as uh, we have discussed before you can just say any value next we assign value for h say negative one and another one for k equals 3. So to graph the function, we just have to type f of x equals a times quantity x minus h, and then the exponent, caret, and then 2 squared, and then plus k. So there's our graph. So what happens if uh, we change the values of a, h, and k? So we can do this. We can change by typing, or we can uh, show the values or show the sliders of these variables. Okay. So what happens if we change the value of a? If a is 0, what happens? And y? What happens if a is negative? What about h? What happens if h is 0? Okay. See? And what about k? So if you're teaching students, you can give them this activity and they will discover that the A is, um, is uh, you can, they can determine the direction of the graph by the values of A. So if positive, the graph is opening upward. Negative A is, um, the graph is opening downwards. And then when A is zero, so this becomes uh, zero, this value. 0 times a particular value here is equal to 0. That's why the, the function becomes f of x equals 3. Now they will also discover that the h is actually the horizontal translation of, of the graph and the k is a vertical translation. They will also discover it, that h, the ordered pair hk is the vertex of the graph. Okay, so you can type h and k here. And you will know that uh, this is the vertex of the graph. So if you move the graph, okay, so the vertex remains the lowest if A is uh, positive and remains the highest part of the graph if A is negative. So I think you can, you on your own can ask questions regarding the characteristics of the graph and the, the relationship between or among the three variables here. That's all for now. See you in the next tutorial.